lesson on this subject, we said it was important to choose a guitar that is comfortable for you to play. Or in other words, one that fits your particular body shape. The first problem you may have to overcome here is that of having already set your heart on a particular visual style of guitar. By this, I mean, for example, that if you love heavy metal or hard rock music, you probably want a guitar that really looks like it means business. One that looks perhaps less like this, and maybe more like this. Before you make a big dent in your bank account by forking out for this deliciously wicked looking instrument, I urge you to test it to check out to see what else it might make a dent in. And to do this, it's important to realise that you need to test the guitar both standing up because that is probably how you'll be playing your new axe for the first week of owning it with the mirror over there. sitting down because that is how you're going to be spending the majority of the 10,000 hours it takes to learn to make the guitar sound as good as it looks. As you try on different guitars in the shop, remember to check them out both for weight and balance. When getting a feel for the weight of the guitar, be sure to test each guitar out using the same strap. A high quality fur lined broad width leather strap will make any guitar feel a lot lighter than a cheap and cheerful polyester webbing one like this. To check the balance of the guitar there are a couple of things that are worth looking out for and these are also best checked standing and sitting. Does the guitar sit where you want it to without having to hold the neck up to stop it diving or having to hold it down to stop it coming up and whacking you in the ear? The same applies when you're sitting. Ideally, you want a guitar that sits happily in your lap so you don't have to engage your muscles other than just to play it don't need to use them to hold it in place. The most important aspect of how the guitar fits you is the size and shape of the guitar neck. There's quite a bit to this subject so I've already made another video that covers that in fine detail and you'll find a link to that video below this one. If you know you have either particularly large or particularly small hands or fingers, then this will be the single most important thing to check out when you buy your new guitar. The problem is that until you've learned to hold down a few chord shapes or play a few notes on the guitar, it's extremely hard to check out exactly how well a particular size of neck or shape of neck contour fits your hands. So if at all possible, do make a point of learning at least a couple of basic chord shapes before you go shopping. For these purposes, I recommend learning both G and D shapes. G will test out how easy it is to stretch and play the bigger shapes required and D will show up problems of cramming your fingers into small spaces on the fretboard, something that those with chunkier hands find difficult. So if you can play a clean sounding G and a clean sounding D on the same guitar, the chances are that that guitar has pretty much the right size and shape of neck to suit your hand size. You may notice that so far I've deliberately avoided mentioning a particular make or model of guitar. Well, that is because I personally think this is almost irrelevant for a beginner. 
There are many really excellent guitars made by manufacturers that you won't ever have heard of. Also, there are guitars made by household name manufacturers that, because of the reasons I've underlined so far, would actually be completely wrong for you to buy. That said, if there are two guitars that both equally seem to fit you and be equally easy to play, then I do advise going for the one with the name that everyone has heard of. This is for the simple practical reason that it is more likely to hold its value and you'll also find it easier to sell when it comes time to trade up to your next guitar. If you found this little lesson useful, please click on the like button if there is one or leave a comment and do feel free to share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to gain access to all our guitar teaching materials, please visit the secretguitarteacher.com site and take a free look around at what's available there. See you again soon. Thank you.